What is up you guys? This is Godson and we're coming back for another Kings of Clash episode. So if you guys remember, uh, this is where our leaderboard players are actually attacking other players in the leaderboard section. So we're going to go ahead and kick it off with Anko from 323, wait, Anko 323, that is his name. Uh, we're kicking it off with Anko from, I'm not sure how to say that name, <laughs> it's, a, it's a foreign clan. Uh, but he's uh, representing his clan and he's versus Sun Drog from King's Rock. And so he's going to go ahead and push center, he's got the town hall. Now let's see if he can get the 50% and clean it up. It looks like his queen still has her ability and she's going to try and clean up this uh, clan castle. Those clan castles are really hard to take down because of their hit points. But he's going to use his ability and push further. He's at 49% got the 50%. Very good job from Anko. Okay, so it doesn't look good for King's Rock because they are falling behind. 70 to 74, but we're going to go ahead and get into the next battle and we're going to kick it off with Teapot. And he's pushing with his Go Wipe, it looks like. He's got his Pekkas in the line with his Wizards backing him up. The Wizards are really good for cleaning out the uh, building storages and all of these stuff around the sides that would distract the Pekkas from going center. So he's going to use those Wizards to clean them up. And he's got the Wall Breakers pushing in with the Rage Spell to help him out. Now here comes the Clan Castle. He's got a lot of Archers that are usually really good for distracting people. Archers, if you can fit a lot of them in there, they're really good at distracting, but not when they have a lightning spill. So his heroes are so close to the town hall, let's see if they can get to it. It looks like the king's gonna take it down and push further. Now all he needs to do is get that 50%, but he's only at 40% it looks like. So he's using his abilities. He has seven or six wizards just in the back there trying to clean it up with four archers he could probably get it if he doesn't have the troops left all right but he does have his wizards left over let's see what he does okay yeah he got the 50 percent and there you go helping out the team let's see what the score is here i believe it's 71 74 okay so we're gonna go into the next battle you guys and see what we can find who's up it looks like it's Koo funky and he's representing King's Rock. He's going to try and tie up the score or at least put some stars on the board here. Now, if you guys notice, the golem is pulling all of the arches out of the clan castle just because if you have that many arches in there and you try and you try to use um, hog riders or balloons, they'll take them out before you can get all of them. So, he's got the golem to do that and he still has two left over. So the wizards are doing their thing, they're helping out, pushing in, the wall breakers are coming in for the support. They have the walls that they're trying to break. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's got his second golem deployed and wall breakers are pushing in. That's really, you have to be really careful with the wall breakers. I would like to use a rage spell for that. Okay, he's got two hits on that wall, that third wall right there, but he needs one more or not. He has the jump spell, so uh, let's see, okay. And it seems to be everything is working in his favor. The queen is actually pulling the heroes in closer to the town hall. So that may work out. He's just going to have to take out these uh, Teslas and the infernal tower over there. Okay, he stops it with a free spell. Now his queen is going to go around and try and see if she can offer some support here. And there go these skeleton traps. Now I know a lot of people when they first got them, they upgraded them. And they set them to ground. I don't really see too many people using them as air, except in the lower levels. Uh, I believe Town Hall 9s and 8s are using them for airs. But up here, I, I see a lot of people just using them for ground. So they kind of helped out. They distracted a little bit. But he's he has a wizard and a few arches left over. Okay. And that got him the 50%. Good stuff. That's also going to help out with the scoreboard. Let's take a look and see... Uh, what is the score here? Okay, 72-74. So, we're not going to stop there, you guys. We're going into the next one. And it's uh, another King's Rock player. He's win! Let's see if he can win, though. He's gotten all of the archers out. And they do have a witch in there as well. So, he's going to try and pull them all the way to the end, I believe, where he wants to attack. 
at the very top up here. I would call that the north side of the base. And he's going to keep pushing. Never mind, he's got his golems already deployed. And he's going to throw out his wizards there. Wizards do the really wizards are the best at taking out clan cancer troops because of their splash damage. And so they're out of the way. The wall breakers are going in. And now I don't think he needs to use a jump spell for this. He he has pretty much everything down. He might use it right here though because the heroes and everything have been distracted, but it looks like they're going in the right direction. So, okay, the queen is still there though. She might be guarding that town hall and pulling them away from it. There they go, but that's not gonna stop them. They're locked onto the town hall and they're gonna take that out. And so, now the only thing left over is to get to 50%. This might be a little hard because when you're in the center of the base like this, you just have all of the weapons firing on you and it's, it's a pretty hard thing to do. But if you use your abilities wisely and you just keep your eye on your heroes, you could be okay. The golem's taking the blunt of all the damage over there, it seems. And the queen doesn't have too much to deal with. She's in range to take all these building structures out. And he might use her ability. Yes, he does. That's going to give him the 50% win. Good stuff. He did win that one. <laughs> Okay, you guys, and it's just about almost tied up, 73-74. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the stats of the clan and see what we have here. I believe King's Rock has, okay, it's about three people, three or four people. And the other clan is about five people, it looks like. They still have their war attacks left over, so this war could go either way. I just wish I could pronounce the other clan's name. But you guys, we're going to jump back into it and see what we got here. It looks like someone else is going in for an attack here. Let's see. Oh, it's another King's Rock player. So this might, if he can get this 50%, he'll tie it up. And usually when you're at the end like this, when the timer is almost running out, you have a lot of pressure on you and your teammates are counting on you. So let's see if he doesn't crack under pressure and if he can hopefully tie it up with the team here and get some uh, stars on the board. Okay, so the wall breakers have made their hit. The skeletons are coming out of the traps. So how is he gonna deal with this? Okay, he's taking out the clan castle troops. With the lightning spell, I'm not sure. I don't really, I personally, I don't care for lightning spells because uh, if you can lure out the clan castle troops, you don't need your lightning spell. You can just let your wizards clean it up. And wow, he's going way far out. He's taking both corners of the base. So he must really wanna get this 50%. Uh, in the bag here okay he's got his jump spell deployed and it doesn't look like the heroes are gonna go astray they're gonna go straight in hopefully the infernal towers and everything's frozen so this should alleviate some of the pressure off of his hero and Pekka's now he's just gonna have to get rid of these Teslas here because they do pretty good damage okay and it looks like the town hall's in the bag wow he's already got the 50% <laughs> I guess that did work out for him going that far out. Okay, so he wants to add a little insult to injury. Injury to insult. Whatever you have it. And he's forcing his way in. Doesn't look like he, he could get the three star, but he did his best. Okay, you guys. Wow, that is tie game now. And it looks like somebody else wants to attack. But, you guys, the spectator slots are all full. <laughs> This is such an intense uh, match right now. We can't even get in to check it out. Everybody's um, trying to watch the fight. So uh, if you guys like this, put a thumbs up and make sure you tune in for the next episode. Uh, it should be up shortly where we're going to finish this off and see who gets the win with only 18 minutes left. So you guys, thank you for watching. This is Godson, and I will see you next time. Godson out.